So, in continuation of our gas law experiments, uh, we'll be looking at um, Gay-Lussac's law that looks at uh, the relationship between the pressure of um, gas and the temperature. So, um, for this demonstration, we'll be making use of um, a soda can. So, in the soda can, I have um, <coughs> some water in it, about uh, 30 milliliters of water in the soda can. So, we're going to increase the temperature of um, the water by placing it on the hot plate. And as the temperature of the water increases, that would cause the gas inside the can to uh, gain more kinetic energy and that would cause um, increased collision between the gas molecules and the inner walls of the container. And this would result in um, a buildup of pressure inside the can. So we're going to let that uh, sit and heat up for some minutes. Okay, while it's heating up, I'm going to prepare the cold water bath, which we would use in rapidly uh, cooling it down, reducing the temperature. Okay, so here we have um, a cold water ice bath.
right? So now we have um, a sufficient pressure build up inside the can. So uh, the pressure inside the can is relatively um, greater than the atmospheric pressure outside the can. And when we rapidly uh, transfer this into into the water bath to cool it, okay, that uh, rapid cooling would cause a rapid drop in temperature as well as a rapid drop in pressure. And because of the rapid drop in pressure, we would see what would happen to the can. Here we go. All right. So you notice that the can imploded all right the can imploded because the rapid cooling uh, caused a rapid drop in pressure inside the can the pressure dropped so much inside the can uh, that the atmospheric pressure uh, being much greater caused the can to implode okay uh, this can very well be used to explain uh, Guy Lussac's law that uh, temperature is directly proportional to uh, pressure, meaning that as temperature increases, you expect the pressure of a system to uh, a closed system to increase. Okay, uh, the reason being that the gas molecules by you increasing the temperature, that also causes the kinetic energy of the molecules to increase. The frequency at which they are colliding with the inner walls of their container increases, and that causes a buildup in pressure if the system is a closed system. All right?